Hi, my name is Ryan Birkenholtz. This is Ryan's Garage. This is a 2007 Dodge Durango. I'm going to be changing the transfer case fluid today. Uh, let's get started. All right, tools you're going to need for this job. You're going to need two quarts of full synthetic ATF plus four automatic transmission fluid. Make sure it's the right fluid for your vehicle. You're going to need some sort of fluid transfer pump. Mine's just a siphon pump. Uh, with a check valve in it, there's different kinds. These are pretty cheap, uh, generally five to ten dollars at any automotive store. You're also going to need a good quality 10 millimeter Allen head. All right, the transfer case is located uh, about midway, basically directly underneath the driver's side seat area in the middle of the vehicle. Let's get under here and take a look. So this is the transfer case. It accepts the automatic transmission output um, and then selects uh, whether or not it applies power to the front or rear axles. So that's the purpose of this. Um, I've actually already drained the fluid, but let me uh, tell you a few things. Um, one, you're gonna need a good quality 10 millimeter Allen head. Uh, this one happens to have a, a ball on the end, which makes it nice. And so what you're going to do is there's a drain plug and a fill plug. Uh, the drain plug is right here. I've already taken it out. Um, you'll need to drain it into uh, some type of receptacle. Let me show you what I'm using. So I'm just using a uh, paint tray here. Um, the fluid itself is actually just transmission fluid, ATF plus four. That's that's what's in the service manual. Um, and I used this because the discharge hole will will run right into the cross member if you don't deflect the fluid. This is just keeps it from going all over the place. So I put this in front of the cross member as I was taking the plug out, uh, which prevented it from going everywhere. But so. That's how I drained it, and I've been letting it drain for probably 10 or 15 minutes. And so now I'm going to put the fill plug, or take the fill plug out. Actually, that's the top one. Replace the drain plug, and then we'll replace the fluid. Let me get you a, a better shot too of the the back of the the unit, so you'll see what I'm talking about this second. So here's a hole in the cross member which you can use to access the drain plug. Probably hard to see right here, but let me get the camera up there and see back in this thing. So here's the back of the transfer case. You should be able to see the fill plug, maybe the drain plug down there. It's at the bottom. Both of them are 10 millimeter Allen heads. All right, we've got all the transfer case fluid drained. Uh, I'm gonna wipe this, this little drip up here. And let's replace the uh, drain plug. Here's the drain plug. Just gonna thread it in. And we're gonna snug it up. That should be good. Now we're going to be removing the fill plug, which is the plug above the drain plug. Let's take that out. Also use caution when you're working in this area, the, the exhaust pipe 
is routed directly underneath the transfer case, so don't burn yourself. Now we got the fill plug out. I'll move on to the next step, putting fluid in. All right, to do this fluid transfer, I'm going to use this fluid transfer pump. Uh, there should be an arrow indicator saying which way the fluid should flow. Uh, so the idea is going to be we we'll have a, a full can of new ATF fluid, and we'll use the fluid pump as such and actuate it, and it should bring fluid up through the hose. As you can see there. And that's how we get the fluid into the transfer case. So let's get under the car and we'll do that. Okay, you're going to need your drip pan underneath the uh, transfer case too because what we're going to do is pump fluid in until it starts running out the top and that's how you know how you have enough fluid in. should take uh, a little more than a quart, I believe. So let's get the transfer pump in here. Lost my light. Let's get the transfer pump hose in here and we'll get going. Okay, now I'm just gonna pump the fluid in. Okay, it takes a little while to get the fluid pump primed, but once it gets primed, it should go pretty fast. There, now we can see it going in. I'll just slowly and carefully pump this in. It might take a little while. Might get some air bubbles, but don't worry about that. Alright, it took me about a minute and a half, maybe two minutes or so to empty the first container. It should take the entire first quart and part of the second quart. So now we'll switch containers and fill up the rest of the way up. Alright, we're running out the fill hole. I'm going to remove the pump and we'll let it drain. Okay, we've been letting this drain for about 5-10 minutes or so. Looks like pretty much all of it's run out that's going to run out. So we're going to clean it up and reinstall the fill plug and that should be it. Okay, that's all there is to it to refill the transfer case.